The right-wing gender wars, as I'm calling them, attack trans rights in the name of defending the rights of parents. They claim that parents should have ultimate authority over what their kids are taught, what books they read, who they play sports with, and what pronouns they use. They question the very concept of gender, calling it gender ideology, which they see as an intrusion of so-called wokeness into schools. They seek to undermine the authority and motivations of health professionals who offer kids help in matters relating to gender expression. And they call upon government officials to side with parents against teachers, doctors, counselors, and other professionals. My name is Arlene Stein. I live in New Jersey and I'm uh, the child of immigrants. Uh, I'm a professor of sociology at Rutgers University. I teach courses on gender and sexuality and politics and culture, and I do research in those areas. I'm the author of a number of books. About 20 years ago, I published a book called The Stranger Next Door. The subtitle was The Story of a Small Community's Battle Over Sex, Faith, and Civil Rights. I was asked to come and speak about that book because it was just uh, reissued with a new preface. The reason it was issued with a new, reissued with a new preface is because it's relevant to some of the campaigns and the right-wing attacks that we've been seeing lately that have been organized mainly around transgender rights and trans people. So I spoke about what is similar and what is different about the campaigns today and the campaigns 30 years ago. When I was uh, teaching at Oregon um, in the 90s, um, I was a part of CSWS. Um, I benefited from going to many of the, the talks I heard there. I was also part of what was then called the Research Interest Group on the right, which is where I began to do some of the research that I talked about today um, about rural Oregon and about the rise of the Christian right, which is part of why I'm at Oregon visiting today. I'm very committed to the goals of CSWS, um, social justice education, feminist interdisciplinary work, um, and intersectional studies.